Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm back with an update on my Pioneer App Radio 2. Uh, first off, it's not actually an update on the software unit of its, in itself, it's actually an update on the functionality of the unit through the iPhone specifically. So basically, what, is ha what I've found is a way uh, to get more functionality, more control of the iPhone through the deck. I was browsing around on the internet uh, trying to find some tweaks and such uh, to make the functionality better and what I came across was a program called App Radio Extensions. Uh, it's by this guy whose name is Mike DeCaro. I'm going to post the link for it on the comments of this video. Uh, it's on avic411.com. Uh, if you guys want to go online, read about it, find out, even try it, uh, it's a really, really cool feature. Uh, I suggest you donate to this guy if you can as well. What he's done is absolutely amazing. Uh, so let me quickly uh, get started here and I'll show you what it's all about. First off, in order to do it, you do have to have a jailbroken iOS device. As you can see here, I've got the uh, Cedia jailbreak done on my iPhone 4S 5.1.1. Really, really easy to do. Uh, if you just go on, download a program called Absinthe, plug in your phone, click jailbreak, it should happen automatically. Uh, if you just go to the settings menu here. Alright, oh, no, general, back. Alright, so here it is here. It's called App Radio Extensions. This is beta 3. Uh, in CD it'll show up 1.9, 0.19 or something like that. So basically what this is, is this allows a TV out of a video out, sorry, of the entire phone and gives you control of pretty much any app on your phone through the app radio. So if I click on more apps, I can go through my app list here and show you what I can and basically turn on whatever apps I want. So you can see, uh, you can see, let's turn on uh, cliff diving here. Let's turn on that game. Uh, anything else that you'd be interested in? Let's do flick home run, see how that works. So, as so you can see, like you can basically turn on any app on your phone and be good to go. Uh, let's even do Shoppers Drug Mart. So, I'm going to turn those apps on and I'm going to demonstrate how you can control them through the app radio itself. And let's get that into focus there. There we go. So, again, it's uh, it, your phone has to be jailbroken. Uh, you have to install this uh, this beta app radio extensions to get it to work. So give me a second here. Let me get this uh, get this going now. First off, let me just disclose a couple things before we get started. This is still a beta version, to my understanding. So there are a few bugs on it, and also don't perform any of this while uh, while driving. Just give me a second here while I get the phone plugged in. There we go. So here we are. We're back now. So see started again allow the function on the app radio itself wait for the connection there we go so there's the first thing that you'll notice right there on the home screen which I can't really get that clear of a picture on is a Siri button so you can see you still have full control of the entire uh, of the entire unit as before and then yeah as you can see you can do a custom wallpaper now and then you also have like I said a Siri button but I'm gonna to get to that uh, in a little bit so going to car media play same as before Let's turn the volume down here so now what you'll notice on this screen actually you'll also notice there was an update for car media player uh, a couple days ago what you'll notice on this screen is there's an actual home button on the top right hand corner because of this jailbreak that's the button you have to use to uh, to get back to the home screen if you press this home button here I find it just kicks you right back out to the main app radio unit so just quickly hit that does the video now again, I'm sure there's going to be another update that will allow that video to disappear. But uh, so that still work operates and functions the same. Again, as I mentioned, you have custom wallpaper. But let's get to the meat and potatoes, what everybody wants to see here. So now you can see that there's other apps on the screen now, such as Angry Birds, Cliff Diving, iBucks, Starbucks, iBucks, iBooks. So let me just click Angry Birds here for a second.
Now you can see you've got Angry Birds loading on the screen, right? And then you can see now you actually have control of the deck, of the app, of the on the phone, just like you would if you were actually playing and using using the phone right in your hands. Like that is pretty cool, in my opinion. Actually, not pretty cool. That's really cool. I mean, that's kind of like the what everybody thought this deck would be when it first came out. Understanding you also have to jailbreak the phone to do this, but it is 150% worth it when you see how cool this is, right? That you now have actual full control. And there it goes. Right? It's really responsive, really well done. Right? And now if you want to get back out, you'll notice there's two black bars on each side of the screen here. You just have to touch the black bar and it's going to kick you back out into the home screen. So let me go back to Car Media Play, and I'll just pause the music now so we can uh, go back to the home menu. There we go. So uh, let me demonstrate the Siri functionality for you. Siri, can you text Frank good evening? Here's your message to Frank. Ready to send it? Yes, send. Okay, I'll send your message. So it'll send the message and then pop right out. See how cool is that? Now, and actually what's going to happen also is, if you get a text message back, it will actually show you a notification on top of the screen. You can see your text message on screen. So the text color is white, so make sure you get a... A background that's probably a bit higher, con a bit, bit darker than mine, so you'll be able to read the text message. So now you'll get full notifications, and you can just Siri back your responses without even having to touch the phone. So that's actually quite, actually, in my opinion, a safety improvement, right? So your eyes aren't coming off the aren't coming off the road. Um, and then if I go and select iBooks, for example, it'll jump. Should start the iBooks picture. Okay, so here's an example of just a small bug. All right, so I'll have to go back to App Radio. All right, we'll start again. All right, so you just text me back. Let me see if I can get him to text me again. Sir. Sorry, I missed that. Siri, text Frank, I'm showing off the jailbroken iPhone app radio. Here's your message to Frank. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. So there you go. Um, you also have access, I have found, to Safari. Again, the logo doesn't show up here, but that's no, uh, no issue. And also one of the cool things is it will auto landscape mode as well if the app supports it. So you get full screen, uh, full screen control, right? Sorry, a full screen display, right? And I can go into my bookmarks. Go into TMZ, for example. Right, so it's just like having the iPhone literally right on your screen. Obviously, don't do this while driving. This is, must be done while uh, in a park position for safety uh, for safety reasons. And then again, just touching the home screen, it's going to kick me back out into the main menu, and then I can continue operating the app radio as normal. So you can see it's a really really cool feature, right? A really really cool uh, method that's only done through the jailbreak. Uh, and another quick thing that I wanted to show you guys in case you didn't know, let's say for example you're doing navigation and you want to change your song or you want to get some, uh, some more information. One thing I found out is if you double tap, let me see if I can get this, uh, let me see if this works. If you double tap this, you see you actually get this uh, display bar now. 
So now you can actually change track inside the app through multi control through a multiple uh, multi controller. You go mix audio. You can also select the radio, so you can listen to the radio or your iPod while in the app. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and then to go back, you just press the home button. And it should take you back out. Which it isn't for me right now. So again, for this one, I might have to do the switch on the phone itself to go back. I haven't played with it too much. But as you can see, it's a work in progress from uh, from this guy, and it's to me, it's it's mind blowing how cool this thing is. So I suggest uh, again, check out the comments, check out the posts on the on the Avic 411 website, and uh, I like I said, if you're interested in it, I suggest you donate to the guy so you can keep up. We can keep updates like this coming, and uh, enjoy it for everybody. All right, that's enough for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.